in the last episode. And the story continues. Got a Galapagos turtle this week only. Yo, yo, yo. Koala ears, lazy eye hammocks, and dwarf saddles right here, only here. David Duchovny sick, signed, sealed, and certified. I want that. Hello everyone and welcome to the next episode of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Today we are going to go on the adventure of Elizabeth Dane. We will finally know what the hell is up with that ship everyone talks about in the media, in the TV, Prince Lacroix, everyone is talking about Elizabeth Dane and an current sarcophagus that is being... Uh... Sorry! That is being transported in the cargo. But as for now, I want to actually give uh, back some quests we finished on the last episode. And this time we gotta go back to the last round where we started the last episode and talk to the Anarchs. Because we have finished the quest for Skelter with uh, making sure that Patty will be silent forever. And the quest for Dowsel, I think. Yeah, we killed the Jezebel Lock, which I think she was a Black Barrel, right? So we gotta talk with her. Hello. What's up? I took care of the patty problem. Cools ain't nothing but trouble if you ask me. It's a weakness. I've got a couple of questions. Yeah. Mm, I'm out of here. Cool. That's all right. That's all right. Let's go upstairs. What about you? Ugh, about Paul, he's dead. For a few days, it wasn't pretty. We told him to burn the blood and go to the hospital. Said he thought he'd get over it. Men are stubborn that way. Just proves the plague bearer's gotta be found. The plague bearer's is actually dead, missus. Right on. Except we just did a second one over near the convention center. They're part of some doomsday cult, apparently. No telling how many there are, but it's open season on all these sick sons of bitches. Now you're talking. Hope they're more of a challenge than the last one. Later. Uh, what about you? Sorry, newbie. But I got the whole city shouting in my ear right now. We'll have to rant some other night. What about you? Hey, hey, what's the word on the streets? Do you know anything about Elizabeth Dane, Jack? Why? Planning on visiting? Mm, no. The sarcophagus. Did LaCroix tell you about the Ankaran sarcophagus? No, but I don't really trust him to tell me the truth anyway. Yeah, well, maybe I should fill you in on the details. That sarcophagus is bad news. Kindred around the globe have been going batshit since it was discovered. Why? The word is, is there's an ancient asleep in there. One of the fathers, one of the vampires, that if you trace your lineage way back, there's a chance it'd end up with him at the root. He was asleep the whole time? Ancients don't just nap. They sleep whole ages away. And when they wake up, they're hungry. So he will wake up and go hunting? It's more than that, you know. Most kindred think it's one of the signs of the end. The apocalypse. Every religion has their own versions. Kindred call it Gehenna. And the way they tell it, it starts when the ancients rise to devour their children. Is this for real? No one knows for sure, really. That's just a word that's been handed down through the ages. The Camarilla denies these ancients exist. Well, it could all be the hearsay. Well, kiddo, I guess you're gonna be the one to find out. <laughs> no! <laughs> hey, good luck. Try not to wake Grandpa Munster and kill the world, huh? <laughs> Before I go, maybe a question? Sure thing, kiddo. Fire away. No, actually, I think you told me everything about Ankara Sarcophagus I needed to know. So basically, we are going to go to the ship because LaCroix sent us to do a little reconnaissance on the ship and see why the hell the whole crew vanished from it. And well, guess what? There is a sarcophagus which can probably contain a super ancient vampire that is ready to kill and devour the world in there. That's interesting, isn't it? And we, the newbie Nosferatu, we are supposed to find it out. Let me check out my quest log. 
So yeah, damsel informed me that there was more than one black bear in the city, and they all need to be destroyed. She had previously suggested to talk to some bums around the city, which I have to do. And I have killed Boris, so I have to go to Venus. Uh, the prince wants me to investigate Elizabeth Dane. I told you that already. Uh, I dispatched the plot burner, not really. And I dealt with the reporter for Pisha. Oh, we gotta visit her today. Also, we have a quest from the Muddy. I mean, the, the, the Bounty Hunter. Oh, sorry. The Bondsman quest that evolved into Muddy quest. So, he said that he will meet someone named Durbin and Milton uh, at the unknown location across the street from a bar. So we gotta, I think, I think it's like the bar and there's like across the street. So I think we should go there, right? I think it's this place. Right, Bums? Can we talk to you, by the way? Please, please just leave me alone. Relax, I'm nicer than I look. I just need some information about this epidemic. All I know. Old Tin Can Bill. He's been talking about this monster, you know? Some bit of him gave him the sickness. He's down in the alleyway, across from that bar. Please, please don't hurt me. Sorry to have troubled you. Okay. So he's somewhere there. I gotta find him. Probably somewhere there, but first of all, I wanna check out this place. Well, that's creepy, and it also says it's a. It's a gun location, so it means we can get in a fight in there. Let me quick save. Oh boy. Did you see it? The Hellas Corpse, it's kind of hard to miss. He done tore him up, right in two. Ripped him apart like a rag doll. Tell me what you saw. These two guys, the dead guy and the other, and well, they showed up. I've been living here, so I hid. I thought maybe they was owners or, or cops come to clean the place out. What's the other guy? The dead fella called him Muddy. So this dead guy and Muddy, what were they doing here? Uh, they was waiting on someone. They were going to do some kind of job, they were saying. But the person they was meeting when he was late, so the one guy leaves to find the phone and call him, and the, and the dead guy stayed. Oh, that's when the killer, that's when he showed up. Showed up? One second he wasn't there, and then he was. Like out of the shadows, he come up, scared the shit out of the dead guy. I liked to scream, but I couldn't breathe. You're lucky you didn't. Oh, that killer, he grew these claws. I swear it, I saw it. The, the dead guy went white like he seen the devil, and then the killer grabbed him round the neck and lifted him up and started cursing at the guy. What did he say? Oh, I couldn't hear too good. Something about revenge for what he did or what they did. The killer made sure the dead guy knew who he was and then ripped him open. It just tore him apart. He did it real slow and made the guy scream. I know you think you saw all this, but trust me, you didn't. Now leave. Okay, okay, I will. I don't want to never think about that again. Oh! I had a Masquerade Redemption. I could break some more Masquerade with the amount of Masquerade Redemption I got. Okay, we gotta investigate this place. What do we have in there? We do have our nice shoes. Probably bought on some second-hand store. We do have a head. And we do have a basketball. Thanks for the cheers, ghosts, but that was actually cheating. Anyway, this place looks nice. I like it. Okay, I can't go up there because there's fire. Can I jump there to the ladder? Can I go upstairs? Okay, I can actually jump there. Cool. Awesome. There's a car stereo in there. And the lucky star room key. That's cool. That's useful. I have no idea where the lucky star motel is. Oh, there was a place to go there without actually taking the damage. Well, that's okay, I guess. I just went through the fire because I'm a totally reckless vampire. This is who I'm roleplaying anyway, right? I gotta drink someone to get this aggravated damage off. 
I think she's a good one. There we go. Saw me for a second, but I didn't break the masquerade, which is great. Hello! Uh, no! Please! The monster! <coughs> don't take me away again! I don't want to go away to the bad place! What are we talking about? Oh, God! You're even more horrible than I remember! Can't look at your face! Those eyes! <coughs> Please, just leave me alone. Are you Tin Can Bill? You know who I am. <coughs> you took me to the bad place. Smelled so bad. No. <coughs> not into the sewers again. What sewers? Calm down. I'm not who you think I am. Sewers. Just around the corner. Bad place. Oh, God. <coughs> Art. Can't breathe. Oh, don't be like, get some help. That's a bummer. <coughs> Web. That happens. Think and Bill has pointed you in the direction of the sewers near where he took his last breath as the possible home of the plug bear. All right, we gotta go there. Oh, that's welcoming. The music is welcoming too. Oh, Ratis! Hey! Hey, I need you. Good. I should probably level up before that, right? I have some points to give out. But I actually, I'd love to level up my disciplines a little bit more. Maybe the lock picking though. It's also needed. Let's do this. Okay, that's great. See, that was actually useful. I hate this music. It's really disturbing. Oh, that's a cozy little place. Let me save that game. Welcome to the sewer temple. Temple of the giant king rats. <gasps> oh my god, I attacked him right away without talking to him. How stupid. Damage. It'll be pretty hard if we can kill him. Or will it be? <laughs> okay, alright. I gotta save this game now. We did it, boys. And reload it to actually talk with this guy. So you guys can know. I'm not sure why I attacked him. I, I have no idea. I can just know it's just this whole place. Kind of caused a little bit of aggression in me, okay? Now I can talk to him after I killed him. I feel bad over that. On your way down here, did you? Following the smell of entrails and rotting flesh. Looking for a free meal, little bloodsucker. There's meat galore in my kingdom. Meat galore? That sounds like something I wouldn't really be fond of, but that's okay. Who the hell are you? Brother Canker, they call me. High Lord in the diseased halls of the dead. Look around you. The blood. The bloated bodies. The maggot-rit mortal shells. These are the signs. The coming of a new age. Why are you feeding on the homeless? They are the weak. Sick. Hopeless. I bring them a new purpose. 
The other vessels of darkness, carrying the diseased truth in their veins. Brother Canker, you mean the Brotherhood of the Nine Sinker? I need to talk like him so I can actually get his sympathy, okay? This is a psychological trick, you gotta match your accents and the way you talk to the people you talk to, then they will like you. The Brotherhood of the Nine Circle. The darkest dawn is almost upon us. Come, join us in these last nights, spreading our disease upon the earth, sharing this unholy communion with our human heart. <sighs> what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> the doors have been opened, the seals broken. And the final steps into the abyss, the terrible mysteries of the ninth circle. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, but I've heard enough. <laughs> Come, join the disciples who have gathered here, floating in their own putrescence. I will show you the mysteries of our brotherhood as I feed on your flesh. Come get some brother. Okay, maybe we can kill him again. This is okay. Get dead! Is it blood healing that? We gotta save, right? <laughs> okay, we did it. We're fine. We killed the boy. We got the same XP as without without um, talking to him. And this looks like Officer Chunk being chunked. <laughs> but I think it's not him. I think it's just like his his um, his twin brother. What is that? Brotherhood Flyer. The writing on this flyer reads, I am enlightened. I think I saw this on a graffiti somewhere in the city. We, we gotta check it out. What the quest doc says. You've killed the second black bearer from the flyer with a strange symbol on it. You should go talk to Damsel about this. Okay, I will. What about this? Oh, this thing opens. That's great. I need to drink something. I need to drink some blood from the ratty rat rats around this place. Can I go this way? I can. And there's a rat rat. Look how much my health goes up when I drink from those little peeps. It's very really helpful. Dude, I know that you're not running away and I'm a terrible most rat for not even being able to catch you, but this will make it harder on me. Oh god, what's this? Do I have to drop down there? I think I do. Okay, good thing that we don't really have breath. There is something here. Okay. So your vampires can actually survive underwater. That means when you are attached to the huge anchor and dropped to the bottom of the ocean as a punishment for something, which can happen, then you will still be alive forever. Bloaty and hungry and mad, but still alive. It's kind of a horrible way to spend the eternity. Way worse than final death, I'd say. You can't really heal yourself in this position. Wait, can I just go there? Oh, oh, there is a way out. Of course there is. Is it this way? Yeah. It's on your way back. We gotta go to Damsel and report to her about killing this peep 
and finding a flyer. And then we can go to Pisha maybe, so we can talk with her about things. Woman, I just gotta go next to you. I hope you won't be mad. Good. There was a mysterious man going through the textures again. I, I, I'm very scared of the mysterious man. I think the mysterious man shows only when you are recording the gameplay in OBS because it's exactly what happened to my friend Memories in 8-bit on his stream and it doesn't happen to me ever when I'm playing on my own. So I think it's a bug that is somehow connected to the recording device which is pretty funny. Damsel! Damsel girl, hey. Ugh, can. Do you know what the symbol on the flyer is? Yeah. I've seen this. Pretty sure I've seen it around here somewhere. One of the buildings, I think. I look for it. Oh, the same as I thought. So we gotta go and we gotta find some building with this freaking flyer on or the symbol on the flyer on. But first, it's time for Pisha. Where are you, Pisha? Hmm. Oh, oh, there we go. Right, maybe we should go this way first. Go there, but there is a there's a symbol. It's even lighted up. Very convenient, if you ask me. Uh, hi. What's up, sister? You enlightened? Yes. Give him the flyer. I see. Welcome to the Brotherhood. The bishop will see you upstairs. I like this guy's style. I like the fact that his hat matches. And, and the symbol on his head, the little circle, matches perfectly his jacket and his t-shirt. Also his glasses. Man, this guy is the proud around here. Oh, hello! Wonderful welcoming place. Why are all the places I go to in this game so welcoming? There is a lady in a weird position in there. She's like... Let's go and say hello. Oh, oh my god. You're... Brother Kanker, uh, aren't you? I've heard about. I mean, uh, uh, sorry. Um, gr greetings, brother. Oh, I get that all the time. I'm just a regular cult member, just like you. You're n new to the Brotherhood, huh? Just got enlightened. I, I've been here a few days. <laughs> when the bishop wants to see you, you'll be summoned. And then you go up these, um, these stairs, up to the, the t temple. The temple? What goes on up here? I, I don't know. I mean, I, I hear things, but, but I haven't been summoned. I had a friend, snuck up there a few days ago, said she saw things, bad, bad things. Yeah. What, what did she see? Blood. She said, um... B -b blood everywhere. She, um, she saw a few of the summoned to try to, uh, oh, to talk to them, but they just, just stared at her with these, um, these woo blank looks, you know. No, one of them uh, started reaching for her, and she, she ran away. I'm sure you'll be summoned to me, then you can join her. Yeah, yeah. I know. The, the, the bishop said we have to shed our um, our uh, our earthly fears on our journey to the to the ninth circle, but I'm um, scared to go upstairs. I I just uh, I just I just want to go home. You know I want to go home. Don't worry, you don't have to worry about the bishop anymore. Poor little woman. Yeah, she should go home. And she thought I am brother Kanker! I don't even look like a brother, I look like a sister. I mean, I know that my visage is not the prettiest, but I have boobs and ass. Come on. What more do you need? Okay, something happens in... Whoa! Zomperinos! Zomperinos! That was nice. I like that. The terrible people. What is there? 
this place is so ugly. Why are zombarinos everywhere? No! Not the brains, man! Not the brains! Not the brains, man! God damn it. Let me out of this place. Finally. God damn it. Alrighty. This way? I don't think so. I don't get XP for killing all of them, so I should just maybe skip it. There we go. No, not the brains! Give me my brains back, you stupid! Stop it! God damn it, they gave me a lot of damage. There's a rat there, good. I can drink that. I can't drink them, but I can't drink the rats. Give me that. Good job. LOL! It's walking! It's walking! There we go. And here. Probably somewhere there. BAM! BAM! Oh, that looks like a place. I save it. I okay, should. Welcome, sister. I see you have been enlightened. Are you searching for something? Do you seek the truth? Well, you have come to the right place, sister. We've got more truth here than we can handle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who the hell? Uh, okay, are you the leader of the Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle? They call me Bishop Vic, Shepherd of the Damned, your midnight guide through our last days here on Earth. Do you feel it, sister? The curtain being drawn back at last, drawn back by my hand, by the Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle. Last days here on Earth? Are we talking about Gehenna? Gehenna? Judgment Day. <coughs> the Apocalypse. Oh, again, sister. You are too indoctrinated into the antiquated beliefs of this material world. There is no rhyme or reason. No all-powerful and terrible gods who watch over their children. You talk of disease. What about the disease that you and I both carry? Our flesh remade into nothing more than an abomination, feeding on our brothers and sisters like so many cattle. What God watched over me when that demon tore into my neck and made me into this monster you see before you? No, sister. There is no God who would tolerate such a thing. And so I've become God. And the diseases I carry to the masses will bring about an end of my own making. Until we have all journeyed below into the Ninth Circle. You've lost your mind, Vic. This is insanity. Or actually, I understand your feelings about being a vampire, but this is no way to deal with it. I'm not sure if uh, dealing in an empathic way in a person like this guy is a great idea, but let's do it. The time for words has come and gone, my sister. You and I will take those last steps together and see what truth lies behind the curtain. Let the night fall forever on this cursed earth and let the fruits of my labor bring a long and bloody harvest. Bring it on, Vic. God 
dammit, he sees me! actually let him use his freaking gun sh shells good job we'll have to reload soon let us have to reload come on Okay, now we go away. Now we go here. And we try to get him to shoot more. Get you up. That's actually a very good idea to kill him, I guess. Press again. Now I hide here. Oh god damn it. good fight I enjoyed that it took me a while but nice 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 all right and we are done with this this guy is off I think the Brotherhood dispatched I need to check out my quest log I killed Bishop Wick uh, so I should go to Damsel and to the Regent I think we are just right next to the Regent place aren't we yep so let's go to the Regent first and talk to my dear Maximilian Strauss about dispatching the plug burner and let's hope for a little prize from him. Hello, Neonate. How can I be of assistance? Do you have a few minutes to talk with me? Of course. I have solved the problem with the epidemic. You have? Impressive young one. What exactly was the source of the epidemic? It was a blood cult, headed by a vampire named Bishop Wick, a plague bearer. Tell me of this so-called bishop. He wanted to bring about the end of the world. <sighs> I see. That end may very well be upon us. But to business. I have a debt to pay you for your services. Yes, you do. If you so desire, I can give to you a unique talisman that might be of use in the future. If that does not interest you, I can compensate you with hard currency. You decide. I took the item you were talking about. A wise decision, Neonate. True power lies not in wealth, but in the things it affords you. I hope this object serves you well. There was one thing I needed, I think, no? Questions? What is it you would like to know? No, you don't have a uh, uncurrent sarcophagus in your options. No, I'm out here. See you. Let me see what I got. The blood talisman, blood star. All kindred have the innate power to push their undead bodies to the height of mortal capacity, but only for a moment at the dire cost of blood. This eldritch talisman was crafted to boost this ability. Blood buff has twice the duration. That's cool. That's okay. I like this. Actually, he has another item that's very, very, very nice useful oh god damn it but to get that item i think we have to first get to hollywood and i'm not really sure if we can get it uh, when we are in osperato but we will try he has more stuff to propose to you when you are dreamier but i think that item i was talking about is available for everyone we gotta see that okay 
Now it's time to visit Pisha. And then we can go and visit Denzel. So someone told me I can actually use this fence. I mean, I can't do it now. Oh god damn, do I have to go through all of this again? Get to her, oh my, oh my goodness. Back in my days, those things actually disappeared from this corridor. I mean, in the vanilla version, it actually disappeared. You could just go there straight away. Okay, I will look for the vent downstairs, I promise. This way? Hello, Pisha. The kind's fate was sealed the moment he entered. Do not waste time debating the morality. If a man walks into a tiger's domain, it may result in his being devoured. So it has. I understand. Uh, what about the woman? That girl you sent to me. I've grown used to masquerading as one of them and seeking something suitably feeble enough to cull from the herd. That's the first time I've had one delivered. I see. So, you seem a bit preoccupied with death. Death is the ultimate dilemma, and integral to the beliefs and behavior of every culture. Life is bore on the corpses of the dead. Without death, there would be no motivation to accomplish anything. The only emotion would be existing. Life would be pestilent and agonizing. About the items you're looking for? Yes. Tell me about the one for the museum. A fetish is described in a 19th century chronicle of a British platoon's encounter with a local tribe. Soldiers would go missing in the night and be replaced by these fetishes. It may be valuable to my studies. Actually, she didn't tell us about this before, but uh, for some reason we can ask about it. And the other? It is used to communicate with certain entities otherworldly. It is a tome called the Voce del Morte. Should you find yourself within the walls of the Giovanni, seize the opportunity and take it, for they will make sure you never have another. Okay. If I find it, I'll bring it by. The kind's fate was sealed. Yes. I am searching for two okay. items I have tracked to this area. One, I believe, may be in one of the local museums. I have not yet searched them all. The other, I believe, to be in the Giovanni's possession, though I have not confirmed it. For these items, I will exchange items of similar worth. I see, and there we go. Now the quest log is updated. So, um, you it told us about them already, and I'll get you. I'll let you get back to the skin, I think. Cool. So now we know exactly what we gotta do. And now I got I got, got to finally find the vent to get outside. Is this the vent? Is it is it the vent? Is it is it is it the vent? Is this the vent? Can I go up this way? Ah oh, friggity buggity buggity boo! Doesn't it look like a vent. Is it the vent? Come on! Oh friggity. Is there any other entrance to that vent in there? Come on! I don't want to go all the other way around. Please let me go there. Please, mom. Mom, please. It has to be this place, right? Finally! This hospital, there's something wrong with it, okay? Da da! Shortcut. Did it, boys. Outside. And now it's time to visit Damsel and then I guess uh, Venus in the confession about the Russian peeps. And that would be all. As for now, in the downtown, we gotta go back to Santa Monica to visit the Santa Monica Pier, where there's a boat waiting for us to take us to Elizabeth Dane. And we gotta find out if there is really an ancient vampire in there killing everyone, or is it just a hoax? First of all, let's go this way. <laughs> all the plot birds are dead. You killed all of them? You. Huh. So I guess you want me to thank you or something? Damn it. Thanks, okay? Well, cool for now, but just don't go bragging to everybody about it. Okay, kindred or kind? Uh, no. You're not so bad either, damsel. So still a bitch, but in a good way. Righteous. You know, you just may have an anarch soul. I'll let you chew on that, Cammy. Some of the boys might have overheard our conversation and gotten the impression that I'm soft. Somebody in this joint's gotta lack the restraint to keep their mouth shut. <sighs> Wait, what if I said I'm sick of LaCroix like, and wanna join the anarchs? I don't know. You seem pretty tight with Nancy Pants up there. What you trying to imply? Say, you really wanna help us out? Stay close to LaCroix. Smooch his ass, play ball. Keep an eye on him for us. 
You hear anything spicy, you come talk to me. Don't advertise. For all anyone in that tower room now, you're still a worthless, boot-looking, canny do girl. Okay, I'll keep my affiliation secret. I'll humor LaCroix for now. Cool. With someone on the inside, we should be able to eject his candy ass a whole lot sooner. Keep us conscious, candy. Well, okay, it's not a revolution without me. See you, damsel. Heard anything? I'll let you know. Okay, so now I'm a snitch, you say? Well, I don't like LaCroix that much, so I'm okay with this. Anarchs seem to be a little bit more fun. I mean, they're not that much fun because they're all the time talking about Gehenna and how they hail Camarilla and oh my god, we have so many troubles, we are the rebel people. But they're more enjoyable than tight ass suit, suit pants, freaking tight holes. Was I... Did I went too far with that? But it's just... It's, it's like Roy, okay? You, you can't get too far with it. I wonder if someone will see me for a second. I think they will, won't they? Just a little bit. Because the guy is coming. Wait for him to pass. There's another one. Freaking salary mans. Go, go! There's dinner coming out in there. Good job. Okay. Alright. Going through the terrible doors again. Hey, boop lady, the lady of the boops, the boops of the town, the mighty boops of the Bubasi country. No, you are finished yet. Let's talk in your office. What? Let's talk in your office. Yeah, I can't hear you. Let's talk in my office. Let's talk in your. Okay. Okay. Hey, boo, boo, bus, boo, delicious. Boris. Dead. That Boris is blood. Guess we're partners then. If you only knew what I had to do over the years to keep this place open, tell you what, partner. Come in every few days and I'll give you your cut. Here's tonight. I've got some Thank money you. to make us. I'll hold your share of the profits. Don't forget to drop by and scoop them up once in a while, hmm? $250 is not enough, I'd say, but you'll see me again and often, don't worry. Goodbye, Venus. Or, you know, I actually had some suggestions for the club. Really, I'd love to hear them, but I've got to go find a new DJ. My old one's still spinning that pixie wave magic 80s redux electronica. It's so last Friday. Heaps of thanks again. Alright, Bay, you do it your way. Just give me the money and we'll be fine. Bam! 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 Hey, this DJ is okay. I have nothing against the guy. Oh, this is the way out. Okay. And the PC? Whoop, what? 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 Slave tonight from Larry. I thought we might get together tonight if it pleases you, mistress. Oh, so they are like together and stuff. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. I ship that. So, Pisha wants me to find two occult items, which is... Uh, none of them is available right now. We have to um, wait for the opportunity to get them later. And the prince wants me to investigate Elizabeth Dane. Vata wanted to find some unsuspecting victim to replace Lily as the donor at the blood bank. Oh my god! I totally failed this quest! I'm not sure if I can get anyone there now because I didn't get uh, the Magi guy and I didn't get Pisha I mean uh, Patty because I sent her to Pisha Oh boy, I forgot about this Well, that's too bad We talked to Bunny Side and Ben on the warehouse the scene of the latest grisly mod The bomb witnessed the killing Yeah, I know, I know I'm gonna do that Cool, so 
I'm actually thinking, what can I do to make Vandal sell me blood? Because I won't have any source of blood if I won't, if I won't get to this guy, which will be a little bit problematic later in the game. I need my source of blood, okay? Crap, I might have failed it horribly. If we can actually use an intimidation or just bribe him. I'm not sure about either, but... We gotta get him somehow to like us back and sell us blood. Because we'll be in trouble later when the blood will be really in battles. Just like health potions, you know? It's a downtown access map and I don't need that. I do need a map that will get me out of this place. Oh, there's a rat. Hey, rat. That's perfect. Perfect amount of blood for me. Thank you. Here, there we go, Santa Monica. I think we gotta go home for a second and check out the TV and check out the email. Maybe there are some more, some more messages from peeps. Where am I? This way. I like Santa Monica. It has a great vibe. It is so nostalgic. Oh, the blood bank! Come on, we gotta do this, boys. Maybe he can, we can bribe him somehow, or just... I don't know. Tell him that we'll crush his school. He won't give us the blood. Blood don't grow on trees. God damn it! The bitch who owns me and this place runs the asylum. Lots of young, stupid blood there. Not like the putrid, stinking, vagrant blood we so often get. Don't shed any at the club, though. No, 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 no. The missus, she don't appreciate it. I can't go to Asylum. Basically, in the in the main now serving vanilla number 26. game, number twenty-six. You could say that <laughs> you. Twenty-six. Yeah, then. In the basic vanilla game, as an Osferatu, you just told him that you are not a people's person, and uh, he gave you the chance to bribe him, I guess, or something like that. But then, in the plus patch, uh, there is not an option to actually, you know, send Mr. Gimbal there or Patty. So you can make this quest as an Aspirato. I just failed my occasions and now I'm not sure if I can anyhow... Any, anyhow do, do just, you know, do just my job and force him to sell me blood. We will see. Hello! What's up in the TV? Yeah, nothing new. What about the email? Nothing new, really. Oh, that's sad. No blood in there, nothing. God damn it. So here's the beach access and there will be a boat for us so we can finally go to Elizabeth Dane. Now, I wonder if this will be... A, if this this sh sh shouldn't be our final night, right? We won't just die in there. The Antadilovan vampire. But yeah, we have to be very sneaky. I, I remind myself right now. Um, you actually have to have to avoid being noticed by the policeman in there. Hello. Oh hi. Hey, you. Hey, what can I say? You preserved my ass. I truly appreciate you not saying anything, and I want you to know I take care of those who do me favors. So from now on, you need equipment, info. You come see me at my apartment. Don't hesitate. You look like you're feeling better. I tell you, that blood you guys got's an amazing thing. Help close up a few wounds. This back alley patch fixed up the rest. I needed that beating. Good reminder not to overestimate my ability. Last time it's gonna happen. I might need some equipment for this little trip. Oh, so you have stuff for me. Crossbow bolt stuff. Can I talk with you more? I can do for you tonight? I need some info. Concerning? Weapons. Specifically? Flamethrower! Oh yeah, I got a lot of requests for those. I blame the movies. Everybody thinks they're a riot till they set their friends on fire. They're not very easy to get hold of. I got a Vegas connection for those. Last time I was out there, I had to shoot my way to the state line. Okay, uh, what about other weapons? Specifically? Tactical nuke? Only a lunatic would want that kind of ordinance. That's why they got him in Washington. All right, more specifically, sniper rifle. Not easy. 
Even in this country. Military grade sniper rifle with 50 caliber ammo could take a man apart at quite a distance. Makes the Secret Service nervous. I can, however, get my hands on a SWAT rifle. Give me some time. Okay. Specifically? What about the combat shotgun? What you want is a Spaz 15. I got a connection for those, but I haven't seen him in a while. I think he's in Mexico. As soon as he gets back, I'll have a few of them. Putting together a dragon's breath, too. Sort of. Spits WP rounds. A few nights work. Okay. Uh, what about Concerning other things? Places? Specifically? Downtown LA? Downtown's a mess. Always has been. I get called down there sometimes. Nines is people, LaCroix's people, a lot of tension in the air. A lot of drugs and a lot of crime. Sometimes I offload extra inventory, but I avoid downtown when I can. What about... Specifically? Santa Monica? Santa Monica's quiet, mostly. That is, till you came to town. Not a lot of operators or police here, which is why I like it. Not a beach person, personally, but there are some beautiful sunsets. I guess you wouldn't be interested in that, though, would you? <laughs> Not really. What about uh, other things? Concerning? People, maybe? Who exactly? LaCroix! Only seen him a few times. The way I understand it, the guy's untouchable. And I've never seen him without his muscle, that Sheriff. Just so you understand, my loyalties are all but written in blood. So my opinion of the guy is moot. All right. Who exactly? What about yourself? What's to tell? I can get anything anyone wants at any time. I'd say it's my calling. Till the astrolite. Wasn't anything I couldn't handle. Well, back east some shit went down. Big Apple can't go back. I hate LA, but what are you gonna do? Okay, what about people? Who exactly? Sabat? Your typical bloodthirsty movie villain variety vampire. A few years back, I was on bodyguard duty for one of the old boys. Me, a couple of ghouls, and some young vampire types like you. The Sabat hit us. Tried to pull a dine and dash. Just two of us walked away. And one was the elder. And you? Well, that's nice. Thanks for the info, Mercuria. Thanks for all the... all the stories, dude. What about you? Hey, man. Just passing through. So, yeah. You guys... you guys are right. Listening to Darling Violetta. That's great. Let me use the boat, boys. Oh god. It's time for a stealth mission, right? Hello in there. Yo. Safe. Pally, over here. Okay. Yo, Pally, over here. I'm going. Shit. There's some kind of fucking monster! Don't go there! I, again, I forgot that I am a Nosferatu and you are any other vampire. Come here. When you are any other vampire, you can just go no. to this guy Allie, over here. and talk That's to you, him. Right? Is that you? Sorry, uh, investigator. I thought you were someone else. Carry on. Okay. So, yeah, when you're in your room, part this guy is your snitch and he helps you, but I guess no help for me. Ah, <sighs> uh, come on! Rap. There's... Is, is that blood? I think that's blood. That's a lot of blood. It's a lot of bloody mess in there. Check this place out, but I want to check this first. No, no. Yeah, I for sure no one will notice those doors opening and closing all the time. For sure. What about this place? They go upstairs or this way? Sure. Oh, so this is that area, okay. There's tons of blood. Oh, there's a guy. No, I'm not going there.
There's a guy in here. He was not there before. What can I do with him? Who's there? Will he stay there? God damn it. This doesn't give me more a lot of time actually. Whoops. That's not the way I wanted to do it. Who's there? Can I do it now? Ah, they're gone. It. Mm. Snap! No, god damn it. Higher hacking skills. Yeah, Shit. Can I up my hacking skills? I think I can. I can. Wits. There we go. that much but can't read them now can't copy them anywhere why is oh god damn it he's not going away from the computer now no please do please go away who's there control hey where they go Dick comes on Damn it! Control! Heard the horn! He should go away now! Will he stay there? No. Fuck this! There. Go there, boy! We, we explored the crime scene. Okay, so we didn't... Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. So we checked the cameras and there was a camera that was a crime scene, right? And we looked at it very quickly. Instead of going there for all those people, I managed to actually just... Um, because there are like tons of police officers on the around the crime scenes. When I just, well, I, I just entered this and... And I checked it on the camera, which worked, but now I also have to get a cargo manifest, which is somewhere else. No dear. Gotta find a place. Is it somewhere there? God damn it, blood buff! Alright. And there is a cargo manifest. Where where is it? A current site transport to Los Angeles and current sarcophagus, three crates, pottery tablets, one box identified. Alright, you know what? Just to make you guys um see what exactly is there. I will save the game right now. Because I know it was like a, a little bit of a cheaty way to do this with this uh, camera. Um, I will load the game, the game, this one. 
and I will try to go out with my obfuscate to actually investigate the crime scene myself, okay? Because I think that will be interesting too. Oops. I made some noise in there. Bye bye. Unfortunately, we are not able to read those logs and reports. Maybe if I will just uh, reload and kill that guy, just to read them, so you guys can you know the trivia. See, there are tons of them. The material for a huge stealth mission, but we're not doing this. We have abilities! There we go. So those are the two ways of making this quest happen. You can either go there by your own foot, explore this area. As you can see, there was some blood in there. Doesn't look good. Or you can just check the cameras in there. So now guys, I will show you what will happen if we will actually kill this guy and uh, check the PC. We shouldn't kill anyone on the ship, so uh, I will get less XP if I would do that. So I am just doing this to reach you the logs and reports, so we can have more... Um, more information about the subject. Okay, there's a weather status. Engines off, the engines off, the comes off, locks locked. Log. Antonio Bay. 10-10-04. Water is calm as we head out of the Istanbul. Professor Johansson seemed very worried about the safety of the sarcophagus and various other artifacts from his dig, but they assured him that all was well. Rough waters last evening. Operations normal, but the crew seems restless. One of the Turks has been telling them ghost stories. I'd let them stitch and take him aside and speak with him. Nothing to report situation normal. Two of the crew have gone missing, and I fear they may have fallen overboard sometime during the night. No trace of it either. Lieutenant Stygian has tried to contact their families, but something seems to have gone wrong with the radio. We may have a saboteur on board. The crate holding the sarcophagus seems to have been opened. We have found blood on the upper and lower decks, and it seems that at least three more of the crew are missing. The men are hysterical. I found the Turk in his cabin, curled up into a ball, muttering something indecipherable indes to himself. Lieutenant Stigian is one of the missing crew, as well as the radio technician. One of the men had a short wave radio, but all calls for help have gone unanswered. Okay? I leave this to whoever may find it. This ship is cursed. May it sink to the crushing depths of Davy Jones. Look her before it drops. Blap, 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 blap. Nice. Nice. That's worth reading. Control. So, yeah, we can sound the horn. Um, we can. I, I can now slowly sh unlock the doors. Start engines. Let's do it. Sound horn. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. They comes on and unlock doors. Okay, so yeah, as you can see here, we have the we have the view on the on the on the side of the Ankara sarcophagus. So yeah, this is how you check it out. It's another way, but we're not doing this because this is like less XP for us. Um, you you can't kill anyone or be noticed by anyone. So let me load the game uh, on the save that we used after we get the manifesto. And now we can go back. No one's there, don't worry. Oh, you're there. Who's there? No one! Who's there? That's true, man. That's true. Just yawn. Just be bored with my presence on this ship. We did everything, did we? I think we did everything. Is it done? 
For some reason my quest log didn't update, which is a little bit worrying. But I think we did stuff. There we go. Guys! Are we going back or what? I did everything I was supposed to do. What else do you want from me? So apparently, I missed one thing. There's also a police report. I have never had to go in this area in the vanilla game to retrieve it. But apparently, uh, in the in the patched version, we gotta go this way to find a police report. And also, what is even more funny, there's apparently a vampire lurking in this area, and you can fight him. I haven't got a chance to find him yet. I'm not really sure where he can hide, but... but that's interesting. Oh, there we go, there's a table. And on this table, there's a police report. It's crazy. And here, the quest is done now. Some kind of symbol. Uh, are you guys in touch with Deepwater, MVMC, or who? What do we have here? Not immediately familiar. Well, look, damn it. This is something we need to get squared away before anyone puts any stakes down. I mean, look, this will save all of us some work later if we get this shit squared away now, okay? Agreed? We go through this every goddamn time. All right, find them. Find out, and we'll save us all some trouble. Bill, what do you make of this? Huh? It's nothing local. No similarity to any local gang signs I know. I didn't know if the Coast Guard would know if perhaps it was associated with any pirate organizations. It's a bunny. What? The symbol. It's a bunny. A bunny. Yes. Symbol of a bunny. Can I go out now? Yes! Freedom! End of the Prince like Croydon. Good. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let me check out my quest log. You have successfully completed your task support at his birthday. Oh dear. That took me some time, didn't it? Go up to downtown, visit the prince, and this is where we will end this day's episode. And we will see what the next mission from the prince is. It's our main questline, so we should focus on that. But I want to do all the quests in this game. I want to show you guys everything that is hidden in the 100% game with all the little quests. And show you how I do that. Hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, that's the way down. Sewers, please, ratzels. I need you now. I, I need both of you. Give me the rats. There we go. There we go, downtown. Hey, I, I know this might seem creepy and all, but please don't blow me off, okay? Someone told me I could find you here. In the sewers! I mean, I've been looking all over for you since that night. What are you doing here, babe? Because I just wanted to... I'm in your debt. I want to help you. I owe you my life, and I feel like I need to repay you. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm Heather. Heather Poe. I'm not weirding you out or anything, am I? This is the girl we saved from the hospital, and what the hell is she doing in the sewers? <sighs> it's hard to do these nights. You look much better, I'm glad. Only because of you. What you did for me. Here, I... I got you this. I thought you might be able to use it. I can be useful to you. I'd do anything. Just tell me you'll let me help you. Let me stay with you. Make me feel this way. Silver ring. I only did that to save your life, babe, but you can stay with me. Really? I promise you won't regret it. Promise. I'll get you money, I'll get you things, everything. I want to be important to you. Wait for me at my place. I can't have you following me around. It's dangerous. Uh, I know where you live. I checked there first. I'll wait for you at your place. And when you do come back, I'll take care of whatever you want. I'd do anything for you. <sighs> my header. What I did ever do without you. See you later. Oh, god damn. What is she doing there? Poor girl in the sewers. Good job that she didn't get her feet wet 
So we have our own personal goal now, boys. This is her personal goal and she's she's pretty and she will be she'll be ours. We could set her off because of course she's in danger by hanging out around us, but she can be useful and she's a pleasant companion to have. So let's see what she will bring to us, okay? Where are we now? Oh into the Croy Tower! That's amazing. Hey. Okay. Can use the elevator, can I? Alright. I've said all I need to for now. Hey? Okay. People? There's a straws? I don't know the other guys yet. What happened? I don't have time for a monologue. Give me the bullet points of what you saw. Everyone on board was massacred. There weren't any survivors. And the Ankaran sarcophagus. What did you see? There was blood all over the floor. Handprints indicate it was opened from within. Opened? Let's not jump to conclusions. Give me the manifest in your notes. I'll sort this mess later. You might have noticed when you came in the parade of malingering mollycoddles filing out. Malingering mollycoddles. So, who are they? Those were the Primogen, this city's clan elders. A worrisome bunch devoted first and foremost to the security of their own skin. Which is why they were here. It seems Alistair Grout, a Malkavian Primogen, has either forgotten how to answer his phone or is missing. The Sabbat's appearance has put the Primogen on edge. Grout's mansion is in the Hollywood Hills. I need you to pry Grout out of whatever crack he's crawled into and have him contact us. A whole skull to goddamn shed. I want action. This is gold work. Each minor problem, like a grain of sand. Each night, I inherit the desert. It's the seemingly insignificant, time-consuming trivialities that plague my night. Which is why, when I assign you a simple task, I only want to hear unbridled vehemence on your part. Understood? What's in it for me? I'm solving your problem. What do I get? My thanks. And that goes a long way in this city. Okay, what do I do? Yes, about Grout. As I said, Grout is the Malkavian primogen. His behavior and home are... Eccentric, to say the least. Of course. He's developed a paranoid bent lately, so you may have to check under every bed in the place for him. I have a few questions. I suppose I can spare a few seconds. Mm, people? Yes. Beckett. You've met Beckett? Yes. He did pay me the courtesy of announcing his presence in my city. He's lionized in kindred society, by most... Beckett's the definition of renowned scholar, but he's also a lone wolf, and owes allegiance only to his intellectual pursuits. I see. What about other people? Yes. The primogen? They are the representatives of their clans, though more often than not, they represent their own best interests. They stay close to power, but are too fearful of the consequences to wield it. Nonetheless, I seek their counsel on occasion. Okay, how about something else? Which is... Never mind, I'm ready to see Grout. When we hear from Grout, you may come back. Until then. Goodbye. So, I see that we have a new quest for going into the mansion of the Mad. Malkavian are the mad vampires, and their place has to be a very interesting location. We will do that in the next episode, guys. As for now, thank you so much for joining me, and see you next time. Come and follow me on my Twitch channel if you want more gameplay for me. Every day, almost, of the week, I stream uh, either on my channel or on twitch.tv. Uh, so you can go to both uh, this channel and the Gopcom. I will put the links in the description to see me playing more. Thank you so much, guys, and see you later. Bye!